hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog <clears throat> one of these days i'll sound normal again but i just feel like i noticed the whole first half of last week's vlog my voice didn't sound the same and it still doesn't i still have <clears throat> just congestion from coviticus 19 the third and it <sighs> will not go away. When I look back at a lot of the things that I edit, I'm like, there's a bat in the cave, there's spaghetti on my face. Like I'm trying my best, but sometimes when you're vlogging your life and you just pop the camera on, you tend to forget to just do a once over. First of all, what we're going to do today is I am going to head out to the craft store. We're gonna look for something new to add to a autumnal table setting. I wanna, of course, get out all of my old table runners, my previous decor and change it up a little bit this year. Last year I believe was the minimalist table. Didn't we do the minimalist? I think we did. Every year I do a different festive table but I like to change it every year. That's the fun of it. I think having the same table every year would be incredibly boring for me so I'm excited to do that. Placed a grocery order for pickup. I need to roll up and open up the trunk and have them throw in. It's the best thing ever. Also, one little thing I wanted to talk about with you guys, I'm gonna actually do a separate dedicated video for it because it's very involved. I did have my first EMDR therapy session. EMDR is a, just briefly, cognitive eye movement like therapy treatment. It's like a technique that you can use and there's a lot building up to the therapy to get there. And uh, I've had friends that have done it and I was talking to a few people close to me about just different ways to experience different types of therapy that is a little bit more proactive. And this one is um, kind of ticking all the boxes for me. Uh, we were able to diagnose me in a way and from what we're gathering in this diagnosis, I have panic disorder anxiety, which we've already known about, which means I have panic attacks in certain situations that trigger a fear in me, which is mostly driving transportation. I can do all these things. It's just, it takes a lot to get it done. I avoid things. I avoid tons of things because of it. But also we found out that I, the main thing, I have agoraphobia and I think that we could have probably already guessed that in a lot of the symptoms and things that we've discussed or I've discussed with you guys. But lately, because I'm sober, I, I used to just have drinks and then go do things and I wouldn't even notice or pay attention that there was anything going on. But now that I am two years sober as of this past weekend, feeling good and we're working on stuff. <laughs> but my symptoms actually, it was kind of a duh moment the whole afraid to be locked into a nail salon chair, the whole feeling of like being afraid to go get my hair done and sit in a chair for too long. Anything where I have to leave my house for too long, I'm not into it. I don't like to be away from my home for very long. I can go run little errands and do fun little things. That's why I love thrifting because it's like a safe place for me. It's considered a safe place for me. If I go do these things, like say go to Sacramento with my husband, I prefer bringing the dogs and um, my husband is a emotional support husband for me. So I can go places if he's with me. I think a lot of people see agoraphobia and they think of like what they've said in movies about it and how, what they portrayed in movies is that it's just this debilitating, can't even walk out the front door. And I know some people have that level, but for me, it's not that, it's not like that. I just have avoidance behavior. So I will choose to not do the thing because it heightens my anxiety. And in the past I've passed out and so since I've passed out in line at a concert or in a restaurant, I now am conditioned to get an anxiety attack before I go do anything like that. So I just will avoid the thing. When I went to that concert with my husband, we were fine until people started closing in on us and then I had to just move further back. I know how to change things in my life to avoid the discomfort. All of the little things are starting to add up. The fact that I can't drive across the bridge to go to Gig Harbor bothers me. Something I would like to get past. I would love to be able to just drive across that bridge. There's a couple of thrift stores over there that I really like and I'm a afraid to do it. So I just feel like these are all things we're going to be working on. But I would love to delve further in to my symptoms that have been kind of leading up to this whole like diagnosis and what I'm doing to help, what I've been doing to help, how I've been coping, how I have been ignoring things and avoiding things, all that. And I think it would be useful you know, I think that could be useful maybe to some people. I let my therapist know that I actually do YouTube and I talk about anxiety and she's like, oh, I bet that helps a lot of people. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm helping. <laughs> this is just a condition that is not something that I can help. 
I can work on it, I can do things about it, but I can't help it. And it can be defeating and debilitating. It can um, make me feel like I'm in my own little prison sometimes. I've cried many times over the, I call it agoraphomo. That's this term I've been coming up with the past couple of days. It's agoraphomo. It's seeing people doing things that I think would be fun, but I just know I wouldn't enjoy because I would be too anxious. But I've got agoraphomo. Agoraphomo is also the reason why I will do things that I know that will suck for me, but I don't wanna miss out. So I force myself to go do them and I have to drink kava tea and I have to take my beta blockers and I have to like meditate beforehand. And sometimes I get really irritable before I go do the things. I come up with excuses as to why I shouldn't have done it and I get, I get upset. And all of this is just like, all because I'm trying to, you know, drive up to Seattle to go do makeup on a bride. Like I get upset the night before that I've said yes to it even though I wanted to do it, I want to work, I want to do the thing. But now I'm the night before is coming and I'm anxious about the drive and I don't want to be weird when I get there because I've spent the past hour and a half in my car freaking out. It's just all of this. It's all of this. So anyway, maybe someday we'll talk about it. This is an 11 minute intro. That's too long. I would really like to get into my car now. I do enjoy it. I love, I plus I have a car now that makes me want to drive it. So it does make me want to drive it, which is good. It makes me get out of the house, even though I'm avoiding going to the grocery store. That was part of it when she asked if like standing in line, getting groceries at the grocery store, things like that, normal things that people do. And I'm like, yep, can't do it. <laughs> I self-check or I order it and I pick it up or I have it delivered. For me to have a full cart of groceries and then go stand in a grocery line is a trigger and that will cause my heart to just be like this and then I'll start to feel fuzzy and there's been times where I've been doing that with my husband where he stood there and I've had to like walk off. It is something that I've been dealing with for a really 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 long time. Anyway, I I do love to get out of my house. I like to do safe, close errands. It explains so much about like too, why like when I'm with friends, I, I have a limit. I'm like, I can only do a couple hours. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I need to be around my dogs. But if I'm with my husband and my dogs, I'll go anywhere. And that's why I want a little trailer because I want to travel and I want to get out and I want to live my life and I want to adventure and I want to do these things. And I know that a trailer would be like a safe home on wheels so i'd have my dogs i'd have my husband and then we can go see things and do things and i wouldn't feel like i just live in this bubble also hopefully therapy will help me all right here is today's outfit i am wearing it's so nice to do this up here because everything's like not a hot mess here's today's outfit i'm wearing the honey love pants so these are like the kind of more businessy pants that they have i would say these would be very work appropriate oh my mirror needs cleaned as I said, it's clean up here and I forgot to clean that. The shoes are just some leather slip-on biker shoes, my turtleneck, and then this lovely new necklace that I got. It's just so cool. Anyway, that's the outfit and I'm gonna grab my purse and we're gonna go. All right, so we made it. We are at the strip mall area where there's crafts, Sally's, the dollar store. Let's go run some errands. I'll never get sick of looking at that thing in a parking lot. <laughs> it's so cute. So we're gonna go to, oh, look at that big skeleton they have in their yard. People are bringing out the Halloween decor. I mean, it is happening. It's happening. I'm okay with that. I, I love it. Everybody needs to just do what they want. If you wanna decorate for Halloween in August, do you boo oh my god oh my god there's leaves on the ground I mean it's exciting it's very exciting you see a fella go for it oh I want to go home and watch autumnal movies <laughs> hi
All right, well that was the success. I got the cutest little plants. I just kind of wanted, I wanted a plant for upstairs now that I've kind of revamped that area that I can put on my little desk or maybe in the beauty room. And then I wanted something for the table. So I got some options and I have tons of plant pots. I feel like I keep buying them and then the plants die and then I just throw the pots into the pot pile. Good. Okay, so my order is ready. Perfect timing. All right, so now we're gonna head to the grocery store. We're exactly on time. I love it when things come together like this. And I have some bananas at home. I really need to turn into some banana bread. So we're gonna do a banana bread, very festive, very autumnal feeling, and do the autumn table. I saw on my weather app that next week is gonna be a rainy week. Okay, so I just got back from Aaron's and I'm gonna show you really quickly some things that we have to decorate with. We have three plants. First of all, we have some ornamental kale, but look at that. It's got this like really neat purple center and I just thought it had a burst of color that was really pretty. So this definitely I think would be cute in the kitchen or on the dining room table. Then we also have China doll, which I don't know much about China doll. It was just, it. do plants kind of call you? Because they call me. They're like, hi, I want to go home with you. And you don't really have a choice. <laughs> Angel plant, it's calling it. But obviously this is a fern, very adorable fern. Hope I can keep it alive because I love it so much. I would love for this to thrive in my home. I think this would be really adorable on the table. So this for sure I want to use kind of almost as the centerpiece for the table. And then I have pots that I pulled from my pot collection in the backyard. And I'm going to clean them up and kind of figure out which one would work best. This runner. I want a pair of pants in this pattern and I don't think I've had anything like this on my table yet. I love the idea of this with the fern. Oh, see, now we're talking. My friend Kate, who had dropped off all of those lovely pumpkins and gourds, I can use all of these around the table as well. So I'm gonna use some of those inside and then I do need to pop some of those outside just cause I have so many. I feel like they look cute going up the stairs and I got some mums to plant out front. I already planted them. And then everything was 40% off at the craft place. So that table runner was 10 bucks. And I got these for like $1.50. And they're just little faux plants. Sometimes I do like to incorporate faux plants into the design and decor of my holiday stuff just because it lasts longer and I can reuse it next year. These looked really realistic too. The only other thing I got at the old craft store is this. <laughs> I could not resist. I'm gonna kind of organize my life and then I'm gonna get this table setting going. banana bread in the oven. I've never put cranberries in my banana bread <clears throat> and I've never done pumpkin spice either so I'm really excited about this one. This pumpkin coffee mug fits so much coffee in it. <laughs> I almost unloaded the entire pot. I was like yes. <laughs> I cannot believe this. This post just described driving anxiety and agoraphobia. You're afraid that you're gonna have a panic attack and lose control. What if you drive too far from home and have a panic attack and can't get home? You drive a certain distance from your house, that's your safe zone. You don't drive on bridges or highways in fear of being trapped. I had no idea that that was agoraphobia. I had no idea. Coming to terms with this this week has been really eye-opening and also just like, oh my God. I'm gonna have some banana bread. Who's hungry? <laughs> 
The good news is, is I'm working on it and I'm doing something about it. So I'm really grateful for starting therapy. I knew the cranberries were gonna be game changing. That is so good. Mmm, I forgot to take a photo of it before I cut it. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to the next, is it the next day or has a day gone by? I can't remember, I can't keep it all organized. I got ready and I'm about to go take some photos with my table. I haven't had breakfast so I'm gonna go make myself a little slice of banana bread. It is, it's so good. It's the best banana bread I've ever made. Adding the cranberries, I feel like if I added raisins or even chocolate nibs in the future would completely change it up. If I want a different flavor, you can add different seasonings, but keep the basis of the ingredients the same. I am going to actually post on my blog the exact recipe I did because it's an adaptation of a few recipes in one. So it really is, I guess, my own. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to go take these pictures. I did a little reel today of some really natural makeup. This is with my BB cream, my concealer, really quick makeup. It's a fun way to just do an easy look. I haven't even told you guys yet, but we actually completely, re did I tell you guys? I, we remodeled the entire back porch. Well, we didn't remodel it. We replaced all of the wood on it. We being my husband, but I did some work. <laughs> I did clear out a lot of the under part of the porch that was just cobwebs and a mess. And I put gravel down so that it's cleaner looking and uh, then we're gonna do a lattice around it so that nothing can get in there, the animals and stuff. We don't want them underneath the porch. But uh, yeah, that whole area just got redone. So we're still working on the uh, railing that goes along it. So it's just flat right now. It reminds me very much of the house in Beetlejuice where it was just like that porch and then like a wall. <laughs> It reminds me of that. So we're right now, uh, we painted it, the second coat. So we wanna like kind of utilize the area. So I'm gonna be shopping for a little table set to go out there. And we just th thought it would be really nice to sit out and have coffee in the mornings on our little back porch. I'm gonna actually just go change into something a little bit more comfortable. But I might wear this outfit tomorrow. I wanted it to look a little bit tighter in the photo, but it's actually <laughs> tight tied in the back so it it has, has a little bit more of a skirt to it that flows out it's a little bit more belled out than what I'm gonna have in the photo I just wanted it to look more pencil-y so that you can tell I'm wearing knee highs I am heading out to the store to drop off all of my inventory it's happening people it's happening. But the first thing we're gonna do is meet Jerome at a coffee shop. We're gonna catch up with him because it's been a minute. The last time I saw him, we went to go see Barbie. And so that was last month. So I have no idea what this angle looks like or if it's any good, but I'm driving so I can't care too much. But I'm heading there and I'm running late. It's been a morning. I've been working and then I have been texting about 20 million people. Sometimes you ever start a conversation that you know it's going to be like your whole day pretty much is just going to be this conversation. And it's really interesting because I'm talking to a friend of mine, my friend from that I grew up with, about EMDR because she's interested in it and she was talking about therapy too. And so. I, um, I was sharing all the information and then we're talking about all that. And I just think it's really interesting how many people relate to having um, like agoraphobia or some sort of anxiety that makes them want to stay home. A lot of people I talk to say that they're like ADHD and that they um, feel like they just like ate their ADD or their anxiety ridden and they just don't want to leave the house most of the time. They usually want to cancel their plans. And I don't know if it's because of like our generation. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic that anybody who already was feeling that way just became even more of an introvert. Or if this is specifically people who have experienced some pretty crazy stuff in their life and it's led to them wanting to just kind of hermit. So I'm interested in it. I'm curious like what you know, without knowing somebody's personal private business too much, what the common factor is, because I tend to, I, when you start talking about it, a lot of people start reaching out and they're, they're some people that are more private. And so they'll just like DM you, um, privately. And 
I'm just gonna go peep this spa real quick where I'm going. So it's just interesting to me that like a lot more people are experiencing these types of things and are just not as like open to talk about it because you know, maybe their work or maybe their family or maybe whatever reason. Um, what are you doing? Okay. So it's just, you know, we're all going through it. We're all experiencing it. You're good. Go ahead. You're fine. Take that spot, bro. You got it. I know I'm not alone in this and I don't mind the scrutiny that like someone might give or think or judge because I don't care um, what other people think about it because there's nothing I can do about it. So it's like, all right, be mad or be weird, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it. So, ooh, that would be a good spot. Okay, she said to pull in the middle where all the, okay, good to know. All right, well, that's where I'm gonna pull in. Anyway, I'm at the coffee shop. I'm about to go meet Jeromey's there already. I feel bad for being late. So I'm gonna zip in there, go grab a coffee, say hello, and then I'm sure he's gonna walk over. Look at how cute this coffee shop is. They've upgraded it so it has little candelabras, these beautiful curtains, and then they painted the walls and it has these paintings. It's so cute in here and this fern, I love it. So pretty. Hello, it's much, much later. <laughs> I haven't even looked at my lipstick. Typical me, turn the camera on. She's a mess. I was just mowing parts of my yard that aren't completely dry, but dropped off all this stuff, had fun with Jerome. He helped a little bit, totally wasn't planning on having him help me, but it was nice to have the help. Unloaded everything, and then I gotta go back in tomorrow and finish setting up. Ran out of time. Uh, but yeah, it's the last sunny day for probably another week or so. We're supposed to get just straight rain. <laughs> handy dandy. Not only is he cute, but he's handy, right? Yeah. <laughs> he built this. Very proud of you, Bob. Looks great. A little bistro table in the corner, some plants. We want to get those hanging baskets. This is what I did. I graveled. See, I helped. I did a thing. <laughs> I put all that gravel down. I cleared the area and put gravel down. Oh, and then I moved all the wood pile. That was really helpful. And then I just mowed. <laughs> My two grassy patches. Hi. You can really, really tell that I don't want to deal with this stuff anymore uh, because I have been putting off every little thing until the very last second. And I still have a pile of clothes that I need to categorize and tag and put in the inventory. And I need to go down to the store and finish what I didn't do yesterday, which is unpack everything and put it up. I am just not doing it at 100%. I can feel my procrastination is strong with this one. And I truly think that it's just because I have been dealing with this stuff and moving it around for so many years that I have exhausted myself of it. I have nothing left to give it. I have other projects that I need to be working on. I have a blog post that I've been, I have photographed for my table setting and my banana bread that I wanna do a recipe on my blog for. I have like a backlog of photos and videos that need edited. And the last thing I wanna do is go down there and deal with this, but I have to. So I'm gonna go do it and get it done because the good thing is, is once I do that, it's done and I can just leave and then they're gonna sell what they can when they can. And it's amazing. And I'm really grateful for them for doing that. This whole consigning thing, hopefully it helps them too. Obviously it will because they get a cut. I have on this Dolce & Gabbana little top that I've had for ages. I've had it for so long and it fits really cute underneath this actually. And then I decided to wear my little rose necklace to go with the overalls. I love the bottoms of these though because they're nice and flare-legged. Can you see that or is it too dark? It's pretty dark out. It's like really overcast. You know what's gonna be really interesting about the roof in here is that you guys are gonna get to see the weather without me even having to sit there and do a 20 minute conversation about how much I love rain. You're gonna get to just see it, it's right there. There's the weather, it's raining. Anyway, I popped this on actually because I wanted to mention that Small Town Dicks is back, you guys. The podcast with Yardley from The Simpsons. She's the voice of Lisa Simpson and it's a podcast, true crime style, 
with Paul Holes is now on it. So if you're into true crime, you know who Paul Holes is. But uh, Yardley's voice is just so iconic and it, it's just so soothing, I feel like. They just posted the first episode and the first episode happened in the park that my husband and I go to all the time. So you guys know those rose gardens that we visit? That's inside of a park called Point Defiance and Point Defiance is humongous. It's one of like the nation's third largest city parks or something. It's up there in like the, the list. And it's huge and it has this five mile drive which is this huge loop that goes around the whole park. There's a zoo inside of the park. There's a, there's a lot of variety of places you could go. Anyway, the whole podcast was about a murder that took place in that park in the 80s, uh, but was just recently solved. So I found that to be kind of interesting considering um, you know, I go there all the time and I didn't know anything about this. If you're looking for a new podcast, I would suggest checking it out if you have not heard of it. Lovely little rainy PNW evening. Oh dear. I tried parking down there and it cost $8. I was like, I'm good. <laughs> it's $2 here. My goodness, I look like a drowned rat. But I did it, ooh, bistro table. I need one of those. We actually just ordered a bistro table to put on our new porch, so it should be coming soon. Got everything moved in. Those women are so, they're just, everybody there is just so helpful and friendly and nice. I'm so grateful for them. And then I bought something. <laughs> I shopped. I told myself I wasn't going to. I stopped off for some groceries. I just got some delicious looking Alfredo. But for tonight, I got us, I love these little ready-made meals at Safeway. I got salmon, Brussels sprouts. I kind of went all out. Shopping hungry is never a good idea. Corn, which it came with three, so we have an extra. And then I, I posted on social media, on my threads. I just used my threads to like thought dump, and then I shared on my stories. And I had tried to manually enter this in. I got these same potatoes last week, and I tried to manually enter them in, and it rang them up in the self checkout at seven fifty, seven hundred and fifty dollars for one of these. They're three dollars and ninety nine cents, but this sauce that comes on top so you cook them in the oven and then at the last five minutes I toss them in the sauce and then put them back in and it's chef's mother tuckin kiss I'm gonna pop that in the microwave and I'm gonna show you what I got so here's here's what I got I bought myself another little 50s style baby doll robe cover-up type thing oh it's so adorable look at how cute this is Oh my goodness, this is so me, this is so me. So I was thinking, you know, cause I have all of my granny gowns that I wear, but look at the sleeves, they're so puffy. I think this would be really cute over top of one of my nightgowns just in the morning. I just wanna feel like a 1950s movie star sometimes. Oh, I love it so much. They just don't make stuff like this anymore, do they? The sleeves, the detail, I mean, even this little collar. Look at the tiny little collar. It's funny, I, I hope you can't see through this. I get all this adorable vintage loungewear and then I still just go throw on sweats, but <laughs> it's it's cozy rainy weather. This is the International Brotherhood Electrical Workers Union. This is my husband's um, union sweatpants that he doesn't he didn't want them anymore and he was about to like throw them away and I was like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Those have potential to be my new favorite sweatpants, and here we are. I love them. This is my first time trying them on, and I love them, and they have pockets. Ooh, that looks good. I'm gonna give it a little stir. So I'm just gonna light some candles and cozy up and start editing this video and work on like two blog posts, two reels, edit this, and <laughs> I'm done with this week's vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for voting. I recently asked on my community tab on YouTube, which I don't utilize as much as I should. If you guys prefer day-to-day -day vlogs, if you would prefer me to do makeup-y stuff and thrift stuff, and you mostly voted day-to-day, -day, and then some sobriety and anxiety talk, which is all stuff that I'm down for. So I'm just gonna keep going the way I'm going with these like, weekly vlogs. Thank you so much for voting. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you want to and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!